Uh, now, do you know the name Jack Leslie? You might have done if he'd become the first black footballer to play for England. That's what nearly happened. In 1925, the Plymouth Argyle player was called up to the national squad, but his family say he was denied his place in that squad because of the colour of his skin. Well, nearly a century later, a few more people might know his name now because uh, he stands tall, cast in bronze outside the ground where he scored 137 goals for Plymouth Argyle. There it is, the unveiling of that statue today. Uh, Jack isn't here to see it himself, but I'm delighted to say that his three granddaughters who were there today join us now. Leslie, Lynn and Gillian, all live on Five News. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. Uh, Leslie, let's start with you. Give us an idea. I can see these huge smiles on your face today. What was that moment like? It must have been quite emotional for all of you. Um, but we're so proud. Um, it was a wonderful occasion. Long, at long last, our granddad's been recognised for the fantastic footballer he was. And on top of that, he's been given a posthumous cap. So we couldn't be happier. Uh, and Lynn, uh, you, you could, I can see you're wearing uh, badges of, of your uh, grandfather there as well. How long have the family yeah. worked at this? And, and what sort of barriers have you had to try and crash through over the years? Well, we haven't really done a lot because we thought that his story would just be lost. It's been passed through the family and they know the story. It wasn't until the Jack Leslie campaign came about that um, the fight started to get him justice. And thankfully, they've managed to do it. And in a short time, really. Mm. And, and Gillian, that support that you've received through the foundation and the number of people who've backed that and uh, given money as well towards this statue, that must mean an awful lot to you as, as granddaughters, but the whole family as well. It's incredible. I really did not expect it. I mean, you've got school kids that are giving money, their pocket money, to go towards this, and it, it, it takes all our breath away. It's just so enormous what everybody's done. The people that have supported this campaign, the people that have donated, words fail me. It's amazing. Mm. And, um, you know, we have seen statues uh, unveiled in the past and sometimes they're not quite as good as you want them to be. I saw all your faces today. And it's a beautiful statue. It's been done magnificently and it's there for everybody every single time they go to Plymouth Argyle now. Oh, yeah. And yeah. it is Grandad that is the spitting image of him. To us, he's immortalised now. It's it's a fantastic statue. And we, we said... Wanted to give him... Sorry, Lynn, you carry he's on. He's got his arm... I think we all wanted to give him a cuddle because he's mm. got his arms out. We all wanted <laughs> just to give him a cuddle because it is granddad. Yeah, we can see that now. I know I know what you mean about it. It looks like he's ready for a hug, doesn't he? And, and I, I wonder yeah. what... You know, he's obviously, as we said, he's not around anymore. I wonder what he, Gillian, would have made of today... And, and the fact that, yes, the cap has come a long time uh, after it should have come, but what do you think it would have meant to him? I think a long time ago he, he wouldn't have expected anything like this. He thought his time had come, it had been taken away from him and he just moved on and just carried on playing for Plymouth Argyle and he'd be what's all the fuss about. Hmm. Well, give us an idea. And uh, I don't know who wants to tell us this. Have you got some sort of celebration plan for tonight? Are you having a bit of a knees up? <laughs> <laughs> family, yeah, family and friends. We'll have a few drinks. I <laughs> can see. By and the way you all looked off camera there, I can tell there's a knees up on the go. Um, have a brilliant... <laughs> <laughs> have a brilliant weekend and celebrate his life. And thank you so much for coming on Five News to tell us all about it. Thank you so much.